getting over the AI software updates was one of the best features of Tesla Model 3. In today's video, let's discuss how all the software update works in a BYD Aero 3. So when it comes to software updates, Tesla do show that you have a software update available in your app, although, but BYD app does not show any such thing. As you can see, only option or notification that I have is the door and windows to be abnormally closed, which is to say that they are closed, but they're not locked. So let's go inside the car and see how BYD car notifies the user of a new software update to be available. So there's no notification when the car is switched off. Let's switch the car on. As soon as the display turns on, we have an icon here which represents there's a available software update. So as you can see, you would be able to click this button of update and you would go through that but I noticed a amazing feature of the car about the update so assuming we switch off the car even then the car is turned off but the infotainment system reminds us that there's an OTA available do we want to install it right now or postpone it for later if we cancel it then the car turns off which is actually a nice touch when you think about it like it reminds the user that there's a software update available and especially since the uh, byd app doesn't support that sort of feature it's actually pretty practical and good to see it there so let's turn the car back on and proceed with the update now it gives you a warning during the process the vehicle will not be able to drive please confirm whether to continue for upgrade and also apparently it takes 70 minutes to do that update and there's certain conditions that you need to meet before you can start the update including the battery should be more than 20 percent and the hood should be closed i don't understand the reason for that if, if you're parked how does it matter but then again it is something which is a condition so you, you can obviously postpone the update to be starting at a later point in time but Let's go ahead and start the update now. You can skip the option or if you click the option by mistake of starting the update, you have an option to cancel it. In Tesla, it's two minutes, I believe. But in this, uh, it's 30 seconds. But let's hit upgrade button and that starts the update. And one feature that I'm excited about getting in this update is the possibility of finally getting wireless Apple CarPlay because other updates are good like you you can see the updates improving the drive quality in including uh, the one that we got uh, in our byd last time which improved how it behaves between the lanes like it doesn't wave that much between the lanes when on autopilot or let's say traffic away cruise control with steering assist but uh, that's how the screen looks when the update starts so as you can see it's a very I think informative system when it comes to that it tells you what's it gives you information about what you can use and what you cannot ability to upgrade your car over the air is an amazing feeling because it makes your car feel new and certain features like we getting I believe wireless Apple CarPlay this time in our BYD Auto 3 can actually change the way you drive and the way you interact with your vehicle uh, it's nothing new to get upgrades like I believe earlier you were to get to the dealership and they would be able to do the upgrade of your infotainment system but I personally believe that's something which Tesla just introduced and made it that popular uh, that over the software update is a must-have feature in car nowadays and any manufacturer apart from Tesla is not as good as delivering those updates and especially the frequency of those updates but given that we're still getting those updates in the cars like BYD and at improving the quality of life and the quality of personal experience that you have with your car this is quite good to see and I look forward to what this upgrade brings but Apple CarPlay is something which I'm hoping it would. And this concludes the process of upgrading your BYD Auto 3's software. I actually just reached 500 subscribers on my channel. So thanks a lot for all the people who've subscribed to the channel and supported me through this journey. I'll give you an update in the next video if there's any significant changes apart from the uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. Otherwise, so take care and I'll see you in the next one.